Hello children. Today we talk about the wonders of the world. This great world we live in is a wonderful world. It consists of different peoples of different races and colors living in different climatic conditions in different natural surroundings. The world is full of wonders both natural and man-made. Let me tell you some interesting facts about this world, the natural wonders and the man-made wonders that have created history. A child's mind is inquisitive. It asks so many questions about this world we live in, about the home and school, about animals and birds, whether plants ever sleep or why is the ocean salty? Why the sky was blue in color? Or if the earth was round, why don't we fall off? These are some of the questions to which you may or may not know the answers. I shall try and take up as many questions I think might be of interest to you. And soon you'll discover that it's fun to find answers on your own. We shall start with the earth itself. If the earth is round, why don't we fall off? If you throw a ball up into the air, does it stay up? No, it falls back on the ground. This is because there is a certain pull or force in the earth that pulls the ball down. This force is called gravity or the gravitational force and it is this gravitational force that pulls everything to the center of the earth. It not only pulls objects and people but also the oceans and the air and it is due to this force that we are held together to the ground. We don't fall off the earth. This force is only restricted to the earth's hemisphere. If you go beyond that, then you start floating. How deep is the ocean? There are four oceans on this earth. The Arctic Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, Pacific and the Indian Ocean. The deepest place in the ocean is near the Mariana Islands in the Pacific Ocean. The ocean there is nearly seven miles deep. And why is the ocean salty? For millions and billions of years, the chemical elements that make up salt have been washed out of the rocks and soil by the rainwater. The chemical elements are carried through the rivers to the ocean. The elements from the different rivers combine in the ocean to make salt. Due to the sun rays, the water from the ocean evaporates and goes up into the air and leaves behind the salt. And that is why the ocean gets saltier. Why is the sky blue? Blue is only one of the colors of sunlight. The seven colors of the rainbow, namely violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red are the colors in sunlight. And when the sun shines through the air, its light is broken up into small particles, scattered and stopped. But only the blue light bounces away to reach us and, and that is why if you flew high up into the sky where there is no air to break up the sunlight, you will find the sky looking black and not blue. How do fish breathe? We all need oxygen to live. We get it from the air. Fish also need oxygen to live and they get it from water. Fishes breathe through their gills which are on either side of its head. They gulp in water but it is not swallowed. It passes out through the gills as they open and close. 
while it passes the gills the fine membranes on the gills absorb the oxygen from the water this is how fish breathe and did you know that the shark is one fish that cannot gulp water and so it has to continue swimming with its mouth open so that water keeps going into the mouth for it to absorb oxygen so much so that even when it sleeps it has to keep swimming or else it will stop breathing and drown one more interesting fact is about the archer fish which is found in india this fish has a groove on its tongue and through this it squirts water on the flies and insects that fly near the surface of the water these insects fall with the force of the water on them and the fish catch them and swallow them up what is the largest animal a kind of fish known as a whale is also an animal whales belong to the group of animals that are called mammals who give birth to their babies and feed them milk and the largest animal known to have lived on land or at sea is the blue whale the blue whale is even bigger than an elephant one blue whale measured up to 106 feet and what is the smallest animal the smallest animal is so small that you cannot see it without a microscope it is called a protozoa and has only one cell and it lives in the sea or in still ponds what is the fastest animal the hunting leopard or the cheetah is the fastest animal some cheetahs can run as fast as 70 miles an hour and one bird called the duck hawk flies at a speed of over 160 miles an hour when it is chasing a duck what is the strangest animal the duck billed platypus that lives in australia is the strangest animal on earth it has fur and feeds its milk to its babies and therefore it is a mammal but it lays eggs like a bird and it has webbed feet and a bill like that of a duck and its tail is like that of a beaver it is a very timid and shy animal which animal lives the longest a tortoise or the land turtle lives to be over 125 years an elephant may live up to 70 years and a crocodile or a rhinoceros may live up to 50 years and so do the eagles parrots or swans which was the largest bird that ever lived the elephant bird or the roc which lived in madagascar till the 17th century was the largest bird that ever lived on land it was like an ostrich and could not fly it stood 10 feet high and weighed about 1000 pounds it also laid very large eggs its circumference nearly 30 inches and contains equivalent to 7 ostrich eggs which is the smallest bird the bee hummingbird living in cuba is the smallest bird the average wingspan of the bird is about 2 and 1/4 inches wide and it weighs only 2 grams another interesting fact about this hummingbird is that it can fly backward and straight upward and when it hovers over a flower to get its nectar it looks as though it is standing still in the air its wings beat so fast that you can hardly see them how are clouds made 
In the air, there is a gas we cannot see, called water vapor. When warm and moist air rises from the earth, the water vapor cools up in the sky and turns into tiny droplets of water. These droplets join up with the dust particles in the sky and make clouds. The more moist and warm the air is on the earth, the more water vapor will rise up and the more clouds will be formed. Can all birds fly? No, all birds cannot fly even though they have wings. The ostrich is the largest living bird today. Its wings are too weak to lift its heavy body. It runs very fast on its long strong legs and its wings help to keep its balance when it turns. Another bird that does not fly is the little kiwi bird of New Zealand. It has short wings and no tail. It has heavy feet with four clawed toes and a long pointed beak which is ideally suited for rooting out earthworms, insects and small fruits. These birds hide during the day but are very active at night. And now let me tell you some interesting facts about plants. How do plants breathe? Human beings breathe with their lungs. When we breathe in, we take in a gas called oxygen from the air. And when we breathe out, we return a gas called carbon dioxide. The plants breathe in this carbon dioxide through tiny openings or pores in their leaves. This carbon dioxide helps the plants to make their food. They let out oxygen through these pores which in turn is taken in by human beings. In this way we humans and the plants help each other in breathing. What is the largest plant? The largest plants are trees. Amongst them, the sequoia trees that grow in California are more than 300 feet tall and measure more than 30 feet around their base. The giant sequoia tree is also the oldest in the world and some are believed to be more than 3000 years old. What is the smallest plant? Bacteria are the smallest plants known to us. You can only see them through a microscope. They are one-celled plants and divide into two to make new plants. Their process of multiplication is the fastest among all plants. How big is the earth? If the earth is measured straight through the equator, it is 7,926 miles. But if the circumference of the earth is measured around the equator, then it is 24,902 miles. Compared to the sun, the earth is very tiny. If the earth were one grain of sand, you would need more than a million grains of sand to see how much bigger the sun is. And why does a dog turn round and round before lying down? Many, many years ago, all dogs were wild and they roamed around and hunted for their own food and slept in the tall grass and they turned round and round to flatten the grass and make their bed soft before lying down. And today, though the dogs are tame and some domesticated, they still turn round and round before lying down. How do you think and remember? The human body has the brain under the skull. 
which helps us to talk and walk and eat and sleep and laugh and cry. The brain controls every part of our body including breathing and the beating of our heart. The nerves take messages from every part of the body to the brain and the brain receives the message and sends back the answer. Animals also have brains but it is not like that of the human brain. The human brain is the most wonderful thing in the world. Through the years, the human race has progressed and developed and evolved the world into what it is today. Every place on the globe has its own history to tell. The rise and fall of the various empires, even before the birth of Christ, the warfares, the natural calamities, the growth of civilization, all make the pages of history more illuminating. And through the ages, mankind has created monuments to glorify their heroes and leaders and even gods, so that the generations to come may remember them and write about them. Amongst the hundreds of monuments constructed by mankind, some were so great that people selected the seven best and named them the seven wonders of the world. I will tell you about them one by one. The original seven wonders of the world were the pyramids of Egypt, the hanging gardens of Babylon, the temple of Artemis or Diana at Euphesus, the statue of Zeus or Jupiter at Olympia, the mausoleum at Halicarnassus, the Colossus of Rhodes, the Pharaohs of Alexandria. But as time passed by, more and more have been added to these wonders. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon were constructed more than 500 years before the birth of Christ. The great city of Babylon was the capital of the empire of King Nabopolassar. His son Nebuchadnezzar succeeded him and his aim was to build Babylon as a monument to his glory. And close to his palace he built the amazing hanging gardens. He built these gardens to please his queen who was a princess of Medes and did not like the flatness of Babylon and was homesick for the hills of her native land. He got the hanging gardens made on terraces to form a man-made hill. The terraces were connected by steps three meters wide and were built in tires held up by huge arches. They reached a height of 100 meters. Slabs of stones were put on the terraces and the plants grown on them. Slaves were made to water the gardens by carrying water from the river below. But the empire of Babylon lasted only for a century and today it is a ruin in the dry desert of Iraq with only a few arches to be seen. The Great Pyramid of Egypt is another wonder. The Great Pyramid of Pharaoh Khufu was built at Giza near Cairo in the year 2700 BC and it took 20 years to build it. This pyramid was built to preserve the dead pharaoh who the Egyptians believed was a god, the son of Re, the sun god. His body had to be anointed and furniture, jewelry, clothing, everything was put with his body in the pyramid for his journey to the afterworld. The Great Pyramid is a unique monument, 137 meters high and 224 meters wide, made of 2,300,000 blocks of stone 
each weighing about two and a half tons. Hundred thousand slaves worked endlessly to complete this pyramid. There are many more pyramids built around the area, but that of Pharaoh Khufu is the largest. Another great wonder of the past is the Colosseum of Rome. It is an open-air amphitheater where people used to watch the sports of their times just as today we watch a football match at a stadium. The sport was horrifying because it involved fights between wild beasts and gladiators who were strong men picked up from amongst the slaves or criminals or the poor class and specially trained to fight these combats. It took eight years to construct the Colosseum at Rome and it was ready in the year 80 AD. There were seats for 45,000 people and standing capacity for another 5,000 people. The emperor's box was right in front and the first 17 rows of seats were reserved for the wealthy Roman families. The shows that were very popular were chariot races, fights between wild animals, between wild animals and men and also between women and dwarfs. The arena also had a mechanism under its floor which enabled it to get flooded and sea battles were fought on ships that sailed across the artificial lake and the water would turn red with blood. Such was the sport in those days. Another spectacular wonder of the world was the Temple of Diana, which was constructed in the city of Ephesus, which is now called Turkey. Five attempts were made to build the Temple of Diana, the goddess of fertility and hunting. It was finally completed in 323 BC. It was a magnificent construction and people sold their wealth to provide funds for this construction. But by the 3rd century, the Roman Empire was plundered by the Goths and the temple of Diana was burnt. The remains of the temple were drowned by a river that changed its course. The statue of Zeus at Olympia. 450 years before the birth of Christ, the Greeks decided to show evidence of their devout worship of Zeus and built a temple on the sacred Mount Olympus. A grand design was prepared for the statue of Zeus and the Greeks decided that the renowned sculptor Phidias would be summoned to make it. But Phidias could only come after completing his assignment and that was 10 years later. The sculptor got so inspired with the design that he made a seated figure of Zeus entirely of gold and ivory. The size of the statue was eight times more than the size of man. On his head was a wreath of olives. In his right hand he carried a winged statue of the goddess Victory and in his left hand he carried a sceptre with an eagle perched on it. Even the throne on which he sat was designed and beautifully engraved with gold and ivory and orators from far and wide wrote about the magnificence of the statue of Zeus. But today all the evidence that remains is in a gold coin of that time with the head of Zeus engraved on it. There is no trace of the figure but only the ruins of the temple still remain on Mount Olympus in Olympia. The Colossus of Rhodes In the year 280 BC, an immense statue was created in bronze of the sun god Apollo worshipped by the Greek on the island of Rhodes. It was done by a famed sculptor, Shars 
and it took him 12 years to complete it. It was considered to be the most perfect model of a human form ever made by man. It was a massive structure of 300 tons of bronze and was a magnificent sight for all travelers who went past the waters of Rhodes Islands. But it was a short-lived wonder. 56 years after it was created, it crashed on the rocks, the result of an earthquake. The mausoleum of Halicarnassus is another wonder of the world. In 300 BC, King Mausolus ruled the province of the Persian Empire of Caria with the capital as Halicarnassus. His queen Artemisia was so grieved at his death that she decided to get a tomb constructed in memory of his greatness. She invited the greatest sculptors and architects of her times to build the mausoleum, but she died before it was completed. It rose to a height of 43 meters. It was, however, destroyed in early 15th century. Though the wish of Queen Artemisia to preserve her husband's name for all time was not fulfilled, his name has succeeded for all times. For any ornate tomb is now called a mausoleum. The Pharaohs of Alexandria was the lighthouse of Alexandria which was visible from 43 kilometers out at sea. Ships of olden times sailing in the Mediterranean Sea always knew where to find the port of Alexandria. The Pharaohs was built two centuries before the birth of Christ in white marble with eight towers each one above the other and decreasing in size. On top of the eighth tower was a huge mirror that reflected the sun's rays during the daytime. For the night, a great fire was kept burning to provide light. But in 1375, a great earthquake brought the ancient tower hurling down on the rocks and the mirror crashed into a thousand pieces, no longer showing the light that lit the ancient world. The Great Wall of China is another wonderful construction of mankind. It is 2,415 kilometers long, 4 to 5 meters wide and a varying height of 6 to 10 meters. The Chinese Emperor Shi Huang Ti, who ruled China in the year 200 BC, got the wall constructed as a safety measure from the attacks of the fierce tribes of the Huns and the Mongols. He deployed all the men in his kingdom to go and work, whether prisoners or clerks or poets or farmers. During the reign of Emperor Shi Huang Ti, only half the wall was constructed. It was later completed by the later emperors and even today over 2,000 years later, it is in good shape, meandering over the mountain ranges and the hot deserts of China. The highest mountain range in the world is the Himalayas and Mount Everest is the highest mountain with a height of 29 1,028 feet above sea level. The mountaineers find it an ultimate challenge to climb the Everest. The first to stand on the summit was Sir Edmund Hillary of New Zealand and Sherpa Tenzing Norke on May 29th in the year 1953. They were members of an expedition led by Sir John Hunt. The largest ocean is the Pacific Ocean. It covers 45.8% of the world's oceans and is about 
800,000 square miles in area. From Ecuador on the east to Thailand on the west, it stretches 10,905 miles in the shortest straight navigable line. The two longest rivers in the world are the Amazon, which rises from the Cerro Huagra mountain in Peru and flows into the South Atlantic. Its measured length is 4,007 miles. The other longest river is the River Nile, which, when it meanders down to Lake Nasser behind the Aswan High Dam, measures 4,000 145 miles. The world's shortest river is the D River, Lincoln City, Oregon, which connects Devil's Lake to the Pacific Ocean and is 440 feet long at low tide. The largest delta is created by the river Ganges and Brahmaputra and it covers an area of 30,000 square miles. The largest inland sea or lake is the Kaspiskoi Moor or the Caspian Sea between South USSR and Iran. It is 760 miles long and it covers an area of 143,550 square miles. The largest freshwater lake is Lake Superior with a surface area of 31,800 square miles and it is spread across Ontario, Canada and USA. It is 600 feet above sea level. The highest lake is Lake Titicaca situated in Peru in Bolivia and has an area of 3,200 square miles. It is 12,506 feet above sea level. The deepest lake is Ozero Bakyal in central Siberia, USSR. It is 385 miles long and varies between 25 and 46 miles in width. Its maximum depth was measured at 6,365 feet and hence it is 4,872 feet below sea level. The highest waterfall is Salto Angel or the Angel Falls in Venezuela on, on a branch of the Carao River with a drop of 3,212 feet. The widest waterfalls are the Kone Falls in Laos, Africa, with a height of 50 to 70 feet, but a width of 6.7 miles. The largest desert in the world is the Sahara Desert in North Africa. Its length from east to west is 3,200 miles and from north to south it is between 800 and 1,400 miles, covering a total area of about 3,250,000 square miles. Let me tell you about the hottest places in the world. The Death Valley in California the temperature touched 120 degrees Fahrenheit in 1917. At Marble Bar, Western Australia, it remained 121 degrees Fahrenheit for 160 consecutive days. And in Delol, Ethiopia, it was 94 degrees Fahrenheit from 1960 to 1966. The coldest place in the world is the Pole of Cold in Antarctica with a temperature reaching 72 degrees Fahrenheit and the Plateau Station in Antarctica where the temperature reaches 70 degrees Fahrenheit.
the place with the greatest rainfall in the world was recorded at Chirapunji, Meghalaya in India in 1952. Most rainy days in a year is in Mount Wailaili, Kauai in Hawaii where it rains up to 350 days in a year. The oldest written language in the world with the longest continuous history is Egyptian. The total number of dialects and languages spoken in the world are about 5000 of which 845 come from India. The language most spoken in the world is Northern Chinese or Mandarin which covers 68% of the world's population spoken by 660 million people. The next most commonly spoken language is English spoken by 395 million people that is 10% or more of the world's population in 37 sovereign countries. The language with the most number of letters is Cambodian. It has 72 letters. And Rotokos, spoken in the center of Bougainville Island in South Pacific, has the least number of letters, and that is 11. The most difficult tongue twister is made by Ken Parkin of Teesside, England, who says, the sixth sick shakes, sixth sheeps sick. Try saying it quickly. The world's most widely distributed book is the Bible and some portions of it have been translated in 1,710 languages. The next widely distributed book is the red covered quotations from the works of Mao Zedong, of which more than 800 million copies have been sold. The American Spelling Book by Noah Webster takes the third place with more than 75 million copies distributed. The oldest national anthem is the Kimigayo of Japan, in which the words date back to the 9th century. The shortest national anthem are those of Japan, Jordan and San Marino, each with only four lines. There are also 23 wordless anthems, of which Spain's is the oldest, dating back to 1770. The hardest of all gems and the hardest substance available is diamond, which in chemical terms is pure carbon. The most valuable painting in the world is the famous Mona Lisa, done by the renowned artist Leonard da Vinci and is now at the Louvre Museum in Paris. Its value is assessed at a hundred million dollars. The world's largest art gallery is the Winter Palace and the Hermitage in Leningrad, USSR. You have to walk 15 miles to see each of the 322 galleries which contain near 3 million works of art and archaeological remains. The highest selling woman writer is Agatha Christie whose 87 crime novels have sold 300 million copies in 103 languages. Currently the top selling authoress is Barbara Cartland with global sales exceeding 100 million copies of her 296 novels in 17 languages. The Nobel Prizes 
have been instituted by Alfred Bernard Nobel, the unmarried Swedish chemist and chemical engineer who invented dynamite in 1866. The Nobel Prizes are awarded to the most outstanding personalities in the six fields of physics, chemistry, medicine and physiology, literature, peace and economics. The first prizes were given in the year 1901 and since then the awards are given on the 10th of December each year, the death anniversary of Nobel and the festival day of the Nobel Foundation. We go on to giving you some interesting facts on sports. The first origin of any organized sport dates back to 2600 years BC and the sport is wrestling. Some murals at Baim Hassan, Egypt also depict ball games played by girls and these date back to 2050 BC. The highest speed reached in a non-mechanical sport is in skydiving. A speed of 185 kilometers per hour is attained in a head-down free-falling position. The largest field for any ball game is for the game of polo. The measurements are 12.4 acres or 300 by 200 yards. The maximum number of runners in a marathon were 14,012 in New York on 26 October 1980 and 12,512 runners finished the race. The world's largest trophy for a particular sport is the Bangalore Limited Handicap Polo Tournament Trophy presented in 1936 by the Raja of Kolanka. The massive cup is six feet tall. The tallest full-figure statue is that of Motherland, a huge concrete figure of a woman on Mamayer Hill outside Volgograd, USSR, made to commemorate the victory at the Battle of Stalingrad in 1943. It is 270 feet tall on top of her sword. You can go around the world a hundred or more times and you will see that each time you will discover and find newer and interesting details and facts about peoples, places and things. The human mind is so inquisitive that its questions are never-ending and as long as we live, we will keep asking how, why, when, where, what and on and on. I have by telling you these interesting facts about the wonderful world of ours set the ball rolling. Now each one of you listening in must make an attempt to find many more such facts and enrich your knowledge.